fishing guys here coming at you with another pond adventure we're going to try to latch on to some big fish this morning as usual we're gonna take off on an adventure here and hopefully we can uh, find some fish and get some in the boat get them on camera for you and have an exciting time this morning I'm gonna do something real quick before we get started this morning a couple people ask about my boat what it was and how I set it up and things so I'm just gonna run around it real quick for you it is a Bass Raider, Pelican Bass Raider 10E. It's 10 foot long. It uh, ha will hold two people comfortably. It's got a maximum weight of like 600 pounds with gear and person. You can put a three, up to a 3.5 horsepower motor on it. I have a 44 pound thrust trolling motor. It's a Water Snake brand put on the boat. Here in the front, it has um, two rod holders. As you can see, I got a couple poles stuck in there. And then I usually put my camera tripod mount there in the front and uh, strap it down so it doesn't jump in the water on us. And then I've got room underneath the mount for usually a battery and an extra battery and a cooler and what all. And then uh, moving around, then I've got a uh, tow rope tied there to the, um, or a tie-up rope tied up there to the two front handles that are on this. There's two of them. And let's walk around the side here. Right now I've only got one seat in it, which is just for me, but there is another seat that you can put in it, um, you know, one in front and one in the back. Um, I've got that seat on a six inch riser swivel riser so it gets me up a little bit higher it's easier for me to cast easier for me to see then i've got a lawrence hook 3x brand uh fish finder on there and i usually just set my little fish finder battery up on the side never had a problem with it so far of tipping over or falling in or nothing then there's my there you know there's the water snake uh, 44 pound thrust trolling motor I usually put an extension handle on it there as you can see it's easy for me to sit and then I can sit about the center of the boat and that gives me an opportunity to you know I got room on either side of me to stand up and do whatever I need to do I can stand up and fish I can sit down and fish I've got the transom mounted underneath the back end there just right under the edge up in the middle of the pontoons that works pretty good this is a two pontoon boat I can't really show you that because I can't be able to get down low enough, but um, it has two pontoons with a center hollow underneath it. It's a really stable boat. I, I've enjoyed it. I've had it about three and a half, four months now, and it just works awesome. And I'll show you one more feature that I added to this myself. As you can see, I've got a, uh, well, I think it's a six pound uh, anchor on there. Got a little pulley system on it, and I run a cord back. And then I put a couple of uh, boat cleats on there, which I wrap the cord around. And there's a little white, if you can see that there, a little white cleat that runs through there. I don't have it the neatest right now, but that's my that's my anchor that I added to it. And that makes it easier for me to get stay in place when it's a little bit windy or something. But uh, yeah, th this thing works great. Uh, another view from the trolling motor from this side. Or not the trolling motor, yeah, the trolling motor and the um, fish finder. But this thing works great. I love it. I mean, it's just perfect for one person. It's easier for me to handle. It weighs about 140, 145 pounds. 
um, unloaded. I can get it in and out of my truck pretty easy. Um, this has battery hookups on both ends, wiring for that it runs through the boat. So I usually put my battery on this end, on the opposite end of the trolling motor, so it kind of evens out the weight a little bit. But yeah, this thing works just awesome. I mean, it's stable. You can stand up in it. Um, it doesn't make a lot of noise with the water lapping up against it or anything like that. And uh, then I upgraded the seat. It just comes with two hard plastic seats. So it gives me a little more cushion. And then I've got a memory foam cushion on top of that. Because sometimes I spend, you know, anywhere six, seven hours on the boat. That seat gets a little bit hard. But yeah, with the camera on the tripod there, I can, I'm able to swivel that camera around either way. And uh, shoot out the front or shoot myself and uh, get myself in the frame really good. That's a good wide angle lens. That's a uh, um, Ion Air Pro model. That's Wi-Fi enabled. Um, you can, you know, transfer your pictures via Wi-Fi to your tablet or your phone or desktop or anything that you've got uh, wireless connection to. And uh, you know, uh, yes, you can see I've got four rods on the boat right now. Two in the holder, one laying on each side. That, that never gets crowded. That's perfect. Um, you know, if you, even if you had two people in here, you could put up to, you know, eight or ten rods. And I've got another portable rod holder that I made that I don't have with me this morning that I usually put in here in one end or the other, which will hold three more rods in a PVC holder that I made. wish I had it with me to show you, but I've, I've showed it, I think, in one other video, but I'm not sure at this point. All right, guys, that's enough of the boat.